Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to show you a tool that I've been working on. It's actually a brake line straightener. Um, I was going to buy one of these until I saw the price. These can actually be in the neighborhood of about $100. Um, so I decided to try to make one and this one's pretty cool. It's actually 3D printed. Um, I drew it up based on one that I saw online and then bought some bearings and then my brother printed off some parts for me and I just got it together to try it. So let's take a look at it. All right, so here's the tube straightener. Uh, I designed it to do 3 16 uh, which is right here, 3 16 stainless. Um, these are the bearings that I ended up using. I found a box of 20 of them on Amazon for about seven or eight dollars so it was quite a bargain and then uh, this was one of the spare wheels that presses onto the bearing that we 3d printed so there's 16 bearings and, and wheels all together uh, so it's made up of just four of these brackets all four of them are the same one side just has a tap hole and the other side just has a countersunk hole. Just got it all assembled. I guess there's some little shim washers that we 3D printed actually in there too to space it out from, from the bearings so that they turn freely. But let's give it a try. All right. We'll start from the outside and do a little test. A little tough to get started at first. There's probably some dirty joke in there somewhere, but. Wow, that works pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that for a 3D printed tool. I think with all the printed material and the bearings, we're into this, I don't know, like 10 or $15. So, saved ourselves quite a bit. That'll be useful. Cool. So, if you uh, if you have a 3D printer or you know somebody with one, this might be a, a fun project for you. I did spend a little bit of time designing all these up, but uh, I don't know, maybe I could be talked into uploading the files for this, we'll see. I don't know if uh, it's too close to the other uh, design, if I'll get in trouble for that or not, but I would uh, definitely recommend trying this if you've got a 3D printer and are looking to do some homemade brake lines off the roll. So, well, I think that's it. That's all I've got to say about this one. Uh, thanks for watching.